Happy video day guys, Christina Brooke here. Today we're gonna be playing with new makeup and also playing along with this new trend of color. And I wanted to show you guys a really simple way to be able to incorporate a colorful trend on the lids. So today's look is inspired by a Gigi Hadid look done by Patrick Ta. I also saw Paige DeSorbo do something really, really similar. And this is just kind of like the it look. It is combination of different colors. You can use whatever color you want, but it's a very simplified play with color and it has to be some color guys. So this is done with those bright pinks, those yellows, those oranges, all those fun colors that you guys keep seeing coming out. This is a fun way to incorporate it on the lids. So that's what we're gonna do today. I also have the brand new Isam mascara that I'm gonna be trying. They also sent me over some eyeliners. I have the new makeup by Mario lip cream that we're gonna be trying. A product from Kaleidos. We'll be playing with the Hella palette. And yeah, this is going to be a fun trying new makeup and also creating a very trendy look video. I hope you guys enjoy it. But if you have not done so already, please hit subscribe, join the family. I would love for you guys to see more of my videos. And let's zoom in and let's start the look right now. All right, guys, are you ready to dive into color? I'm actually pretty excited for this video. I'm super into this whole color theme. I think what it is, is after everything that has happened for the past two years, like everything has kind of sucked. Not gonna lie. This year hasn't been that great either, but I feel like it's like the restarting of new and color and happiness. And I think I'm really into this. So um, I wanna show you first first things that we're gonna try out. So this is from Esum. So Esum did send me this in PR and I'm so excited. They sent me these three dual-ended eyeliners, okay? So this looks like so much fun. Do you know like Charlotte Tilbury did something similar to this and I love the Charlotte Tilbury one. So we've got the first one that looks like a burgundy. Ooh, that's pretty and jelly. And then the other side is like rose gold. This is a dual ended rose gold and burgundy, which is like right up my alley. I can't wait to use that like metallic color. It looks so cool. A nice brown and on the other side is gold. This is the brown and gold and this is the rose gold and like the burgundy. So this side here is black. Ooh, very, very strong black. Oh, this looks cool. And silver, ooh, very awesome. So I love these. These look like they're super promising. I cannot wait to try them on. Black and silver, brown and gold, and rose gold, and like a burgundy. So sent me over a sharpener. Guys, I have not realized how important it is to have good sharpeners, but I bought the Natasha Denona one, and that one is so good and so handy. So I am excited to try this one. This one also has the two holes, so for like the fatter pencils and also for the thinner ones. So this could come in real handy. And then we've got two brushes, which we'll play with in today's look. We have this one here, which is a, I don't know, a V2 and a V33. So we're going to play with these two in today's look. And finally, the thing I'm really excited for is they have their brand new Isam mascara, which we're also going to play with. And they actually sent me <laughs> some literature on this. So it's a high performance mascara that delivers ultra volume, defining length for beautiful lashes. It's supposed to be long wear, smudge proof, water resistant, vegan and cruelty free. So I am excited. We will play with this in today's look. Hopefully it's good. You guys know I love myself mascaras, but I'm very picky with mascara, so hopefully that one lives up. I also have the Encyclopedia from Kaleidos. I will be picking a fun highlight from oh, this. So this was also something that was sent to me in PR, and we've got a lot of highlights to pick from, so we'll pick one. Um, and I think I'll do the look today with the Hella palette from Odin's Eye. So this was also sent to me in PR. This is the Angelica Nick Vist collab. I don't know if it's still available. It may be. If it is, I will link it down below. But yeah, this is a really cool palette. Very bright and fun and perfect for today's look. So I'll show you guys a little sneak peek of what it looks like inside. I do have a full review up on this as well. And I think for more neutral, because we're going to have to add some neutral color in, I'll be using the Biba from Natasha. And finally, um, I want to try this. So Makeup by Mario. This isn't PR. <laughs> I would gladly accept PR from Makeup by Mario, but no, this isn't PR. I actually picked this up. So this is the Makeup by Mario new Ultra Lip Suede. And this color actually is in pinky brown, which is 
a color <laughs> that sounds very up my alley, pinky brown. So this is everything we're gonna play with and we're gonna do a really fun, colorful look that's very trendy right now. And you know, us makeup girls, sometimes maybe we're not like so into like the colorful clothing, but we will definitely do the colorful makeup. And if you're not into very colorful looks, this is a fun way to get the color without going crazy with color. So it's gonna be simple. And yeah, let's go ahead and let's start because I am ready to add some rest of makeup to my face. Okay, so I'm excited for the eyes. I think what we're gonna do is something inspired by this. So this is kind of like what I was talking about, this really cool like look. So if you guys can see Gigi Hadid in this picture right here, this is kind of like what we're starting to see when it comes to eye makeup. Everything is very simple, but then there's like an accent. So we're gonna do something similar to this. Um, I did do another video that I did it with like an orangey color and I thought it came out so cool that I decided that today we're gonna continue that, but maybe we'll do something with the yellowy greens and do something similar to what Gigi did. I'm not gonna go for the bright yellow like that because I don't love bright yellow on me. First thing that I would like to do is put down a very neutral base. And the reason that I'm gonna do that, guys, is because I put concealer on my eyelids, like most people, and if you don't put something down, you could get like that crease, that concealer crease that's really ugly. So if you have something like Natasha Denona's Biba, this is where you would use these colors like Tusk that is basically your skin tone, so you don't really wanna add color. So I'm just gonna kinda like put that all over the lid and just get rid of any discoloration and also kind of just like set down the concealer. You could do this with powder, but a lot of eyeshadow palettes have a color similar to this, and actually some of them might just give you a little bit of color. Now, the next thing that I'm gonna do is open up my Isom brush. I feel like everything is childproof for me today. So we're going to try this one. So this one here is the V21. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab into this shade and this shade combined it. So I'm gonna mix them both together because I kind of want to do a little bit of a bright yellow but not as bright as hers, maybe a little more green. And we're gonna just build up that inner corner. Now it seems like the look is very subtle so we're not gonna go too far. I think that's pretty good. And then on the other side, it looks like they kind of just like put a little bit on the lower lash line. I'm gonna grab into one of my favorite brushes for the lower lash line, which is the P06 from Bristles Beauty. I'm gonna grab into the same colors and just kind of like bring this on the lower lash. And it looks like they kind of like did like, so that it would be like on the two outer edges of the eye. So one thing I like about this brush from Isom is kind of stiff. So because of that, it's allowing me to place like the product exactly where I want it. And it's not like going crazy. So I kind of like that. So the next thing that I see here is that it looks like there's like a little bit of like an inner corner glow. This palette again and grab into this color here. Now Angelica is, has this like really cool like shine to it. So I'm actually enjoying that. I think it looks kind of cool. Looks like a firework. So cool. Okay, so then let's do that eyeliner. So I'm gonna try using the black because it looks like she has like a black eyeliner and I'm gonna use, I'm gonna actually use brown for me. It looks like she has black, but I think I'm gonna use brown. So this is the brown Isom one. So we're gonna go ahead and do a wing with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and start from the center. If you guys know, I always start from the center of the eye and then I take it out. Because my eyes are so small, if I go all the way from the inside, it makes my eyes smaller. So I'm just gonna start from right here. I'm gonna try to do this on camera and probably finish the rest off. But I'm gonna go ahead and bring the eyeliner Okay, give me a second to finish this off camera. All right, so there we go. I went ahead and did the eyeliner. It was very easy to use that eyeliner. It really was really smooth. Look at that eyeliner. I think I've never done such a good wing liner with like a gel pencil before. So I'm excited for these gel liners and it also did not budge. So after I put it, it's not like creasing everywhere. So I'm really liking that. I'm gonna go ahead and just 
finish off this look, I'm gonna copy what I did on the other side really quickly, and then I am going to put on the mascara with you guys. So let me go ahead and do this eye really quick, and then we'll do the mascara. Okay, we are caught up with both eyes. What do you guys think? This looks kind of cool, I think. So let's try the Isom mascara. Hopefully this is good, Isom. <laughs> because if not, my eye look might die. Ooh, how pretty is this? Look how beautiful, this packaging. Nice, beautiful silver tube. Oh good, it's black. I was gonna say, I didn't check to see if it was black or not. It is, it's black. Okay, so cross fingers. Let's make sure. It's so funny because every time I use this Marc Jacobs, because I always use this as my mirror, I always say, the product is scented in my head, but it's because I'm smelling the Marc Jacobs thing. That always happens to me. Oh my God, I gotta like remember that this thing smells, but no, there is no smell really. I mean, I always do a lot of coats, so this is a really nice mascara. I think what I'll do is my other eye, I'm gonna curl the lashes first, but it really separates the lashes, so it looks really, really good in person, like so natural, yet my lashes look really big and fake in person. This is really nice. All right, so first impression of the mascara, I like it, okay? So obviously mascaras and stuff, I like to wear them more times to like really know, but like first impression, very good job. It gave me length. It gave me a nice amount of volume. Like in person, my lashes look pretty big and nice. So I think that I might actually really enjoy that mascara. Let's move on to the last thing, the lips. Let's do a Makeup by Mario lips. Ooh, I'm excited to try this one. So what do you guys think of the eye look though? It looks kind of cool, right? Let's see what it looks like finished. So this is, ooh, cool packaging. So Makeup by Mario-ish, right? So he has like this architectural type of simplistic design, but at the same time, the stuff actually looks, it doesn't look as luxurious. It almost looks more modern. I think he has like that type of vibe for his brand. Let's see, hopefully I like this because what was it? He released some other stuff I wasn't the biggest fan of. Uh-oh, I don't know if I like this. It smells like a coconut. Wow, this is like a mousse. Do I like or not like this? I can't tell yet. I am unsure. <laughs> okay, this was a very strange formula. Guys, this is literally like a mousse. Has anybody tried this yet? This feels like a mousse. Weird. Almost like I put something that was meant for the cheeks on the lips. This is a lipstick, right? Lips. Yeah, doesn't feel like lipstick. Okay, so I'm not sure. <laughs> And even though it's kind of creamy, like I can already see like right here where I have like a little bit of dryness, I kind of like see that indentation. There must be coconut in this because it smells so coconutty. I don't know, maybe they just made it smell like a coconut. But I like, I like it and I don't like it. I'm very confused by this formula. I think I'm gonna have to keep playing with it. It kind of reminds me of the Kaleidos formula, but I almost like the Kaleidos one a little bit better, but I guess it depends. If this stays how it's looking right now, it doesn't look bad, but I think I'm gonna line my lips a little bit to kind of put this together because the color is a little bit dull and I'll be right back. Okie doke, so here's the final look. What do you guys think? I think this looks so, so cool. So easy to you, so easy to do and it's not like super in your face. I have to say like I'm kind of confused with this lip formula from Makeup by Mario. Like. The more I wear it, like I'm kind of like, okay, this feels kind of comfortable, but then at the same time, I'm like so confused by it. So do I love this? Am I confused by this? I feel like I need to use this more often. I also need to see like, is it gonna dry out? It's just such a strange formula. If you guys have used this, do you know what I'm talking about? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me look at it again. It actually doesn't look bad and it's very matte, but it's not getting into my lip, my lines. And the longer I have it on, the more I like it. Do I like this? I think I might like this. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep using that product. But what I did was I lined my lips with Julia and it kind of pulled everything together and it made it look a lot better. So I might like it. It went from like being like, what is this? To kind of like, huh, this may be interesting. I think I might like that. Um, the Isom eyeliner is really, really good. I think that this did an awesome line. I'm so excited for it. The mascara, I really love. This is really, really good. The new Isom mascara looks really awesome. I also really like this brush. It's very stiff, so it allowed me to really stay in place and not get the product everywhere, which is what, which is what I needed for this look. Because if you brought this two in, 
it would like mess everything up. So, and also, obviously I really love this Hella palette. I wanna try a highlight though. Let's do a highlight. So let's pick from the encyclopedia gifted look like. I honestly think that this just has a cool packaging. I don't know what the colors are, but whatever this is, we will use. Ooh, cool. It's like silver, space age. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this very glittery highlight, which you guys know how much I love glitter, but let's just do it. Why not? We've got a whole, holy cannolis. Let me tell you, Kaleidos does not play when it comes to highlights. This is like in, holy, holy, oh my goodness. Wow. A little goes a long way. This has a beautiful pinky Oh my god, like this every color in the rainbow. This is like a psychedelic highlight with some really coolness to it. Oh my goodness. You guys are gonna see me blinging to the universe. Like this is a super that's a cool, cool highlight. You definitely see the glitters, but I will I will completely be okay with it, which how cool that looks. So this is like a really neat highlight. So this is this one and it's called Space Gifted from Kaleidos. Very cool. So here we go final face of makeup, playing with some new products. Let me zoom out. Is it? We are here at the end of the video. I want to know from you guys though, is this something that you would try on your own? Are you willing to do this colorful makeup look? Is this simple enough that maybe you'll be willing to dabble into some color? I will tell you guys this kind of look would probably look really cool with the pinks, which you guys know how much I do not love pink on the lid. But let me tell you, a look like this I think could look so cool in pink orange, green, yellow, blue. I mean, Natasha's coming out with her pastel palette that was just announced as well. So I think that this is a look that you can do with a bunch of different colors, colors of the rainbow. And you know, it's just one color, so it makes everything a lot easier and also not as in your face. It's just a really cool and elegant way to play with color. Yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Of course, all the products that we talked about today, I'm gonna be linking down below. And of course, I will also have the Issa Mascara linked. I think that this is a really cool mascara. I can't wait to use it some more, but yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.